fucking. These are very skinny, long dildos they keep sending to me. Please review them, please review them. And I'm like, what? I don't want your skinny horse dildos. Those big ones they choke whales with. But really, what's in here is a lame ass anime wall scroll from some lame ass anime that I ain't never even heard of. And I shouldn't be buying wall scrolls, I should be buying good canvases like that. But they're so cheap on Amazon. Look at the price I paid for this. There's so many caps. Oh god, it's so broken. Everything's borked on this. How do I unroll this? It's a weird fabric. Whoa. Ms. Valentine. Ms. Valentine is here, Chewbacca. Look at Faye Valentine. You know how... Here's the thing. I went to Japan in 2015, right? Do you know how much Cowboy Bebop merchandise there was? Figures. Copies of the DVD. Copies of anything. Anything that said Cowboy Bebop. And I looked. Because I'm... I love that show. Everyone should love Cowboy Bebop. Uh, 2015. It was November. I saw... Zero. Not a lick of it. One piece up the ass. Madoka Magica was just on the air. There was tons. Cowboy Bebop? Zero. So when I see a piece of uh, Bebop memorabilia, even if Pasta does not agree with it, and I don't worry, she probably agrees with that, although it's very thin. I've not seen a wall scroll you could actually see. It's like fabric fabric. That is uh, getting purchased. So there you go. We could have... Oh, give me one of these. Actually, don't give me two of these. These are my magnets from another unboxing. I'm gonna go like, boom, boom. She could sit right here. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So while that's happening, uh, let's do whatever's in this box. Yes, I'm a 12 year old boy. All right, shit happens. That doesn't even have to be out. It just has to be. In, I have to in my possession. It could be in a closet, rolled up somewhere. Just owning it makes me feel better. This was closed improperly. This is obviously someone's loaning me something, and I do not condone whatever happened to this box. Oh Jesus! It's been a while since I got one of these. One of these, like, hey, hey. I'm gonna pack this bad. Oh God, please tell me he's not asking for it back. Oh, I know what it is. How ironic, I just talked about my trip to Japan. Even though Cost is an American company. I'm gonna repack this better than this. So this can all go on the trizash. I put this whole box in a trip. These these are a vintage set a virgin vintage set of cos pro for triple a's stereophone v vintage like this is it this is not the like oh we remade our classic thing no this is a set that was made in like the 70s Never been played before. It may not work. He says if it doesn't work, you can take it apart and try to fix it. But they never work. 10 to 22,000 hertz frequency response. Direct contour pneumolite cushions. Dual suspension headband and human engineered for comfort. These will be getting a full review, don't ask. You don't even have to ask. Um, hoping that they work and they don't have to do anything stupid. Glad we got Faye out of the way. Should make Pasta watch Bebop. If you think Pasta, who watches these videos so that we could put the contents in and she, if you think Pasta should watch Cowboy Bebop, please say so in the comments because that shit is fucking classic. It's the warranty card, I should fill this out. If you're in Canada, it tells you where to mail it to. Burlington, Ontario. Otherwise, it's going to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Warranty card was a 388. Full one-year warranty. Is there a date on any of this? 
Cost KK Tokyo Japan Ontario Canada Dublin Paris Frankfurt Amsterdam blah 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 eleven seventy seven eleven seventy seven this is this is some shit right here so it comes wow I'm got to remember how this goes I don't want to fuck them up. We've got more cards. Extra wide, super smooth frequency response of 10 to 22,000. Blah, blah, blah. Unique cost, direct contour, blah, blah. ear cushions. Makes your listening easy. This all new professional model service will cost will give you hours of fine listening pleasure. Blah, 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 blah. Extended linear base response below audibility. Yeah, Cost Corporation, 1977. My father's Buick. Growing up was a 1977 Buick. Take this out of here. I might. I don't want to hurt the box. Who did this, Koss? My granddaddy was a die cutter. Oh my god, you have to like. This has a lip, and I have to do this like gentle. I push that down. Oh my god. Right, that's one. How does this come out? Oh, like that, okay. Does this whole thing flop? How is it supposed to do? How am I gonna get that back in there? Oh my god, the air trap in this bag is from 1977. Probably smells like Rocky One. I want to point out this. This was the ideal listening scape. In 1977, you had your lemonade, probably something with alcohol in it. Wicker furniture, indoors. There's a record player, a turntable, a vinyl player on this wicker cabinet. This dude, totally not sitting on the couch with his wife. Some audio files are floor sitters, that's a thing. Plant, been dead for years. Very brown, everything's very brown. Pasta would totally wear that outfit, by the way. Totally wear that outfit. It's like, oh my god, so cute. Oh, they're holding hands and listening on their Pro 4 AAAs. Stereo, hearing is believing. Okay, let's take the cord out of the bag. I feel like this is a very nice zip tie, if it's original from 1977. Has zip tie technology not improved that much? This is in fucking tremendous shape. I mean, every bit of the rubber even feels like it's new. I guess they packed it properly. I'm gonna smell for you, hold on. Oh, oh my God, the vintageness of that. Like, I'm serious. It smells like someone's basement, but like the best way. Kick off those. Oh man, those pads, look like they're gonna be super. Oh man, how did they not, did humans not have ears? How did they figure this shit out? Here's your screw terminal that you would screw on a microphone, I believe is what that's for. <sighs> Cos left and right in red and blue because they're not stupid. Metal, got some girth to it. Interesting little, little thing there. This says left, it's just like that. Rubberized here seems good. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is a comfort strap. This actually has a comfort strap. It's just, it doesn't look very comfortable. It doesn't feel like that's the correct direction, left and right. Attached wire. What were they thinking? I'm putting this on my head. And then you're supposed to, oh, you're supposed to grab those. You're supposed to grab these thick here and here and squeeze to adjust. Oh God, I'm gonna vomit from the pressure on my temples. I may have to break in the pads a little bit. Like I may have to just like give them a little bit of like a, like a, are they supposed to be sealed? Oh, they are supposed to be sealed. Look at that. It's like a pulsating sphincter. Cause they're literally filled with foam and air and the air just moves around. They're not supposed to leak. I'll give these a little workout. I should see if they play. You know what? This is a very special unboxing. Nothing, nothing this vintage has ever been broken in. Hi, so I've come in to play something. What? Don't move. Not moving. 
Don't move with that hat on. Straight into the Aoun X1S. We've got music playing. Let's get it to something really good. Frankie goes to Hollywood. That's like 80s, right? Turning it up. Well, they work. It's the first thing they played is Frankie goes to Hollywood Pleasure Dome. They're cut, the cut rough. They are a little bit shrill. And uncomfortable as all hell, but better than the Fro 4 A's. Oh, God. Well, those will get a review. I have to go now prepare the box. I'm just let them burn in for like, I don't know, 30 years. Maybe they'll sound great. But uh, I gotta pack everything back the way it was so that when I return them to their owner, they are still vintage, just not a virgin. I took those virginity right now. I just took their virginity. I'll take it again later, if you know what I mean. Um, links to the, to the wall scroll, links to these from Casa's website, Pasta, pay attention. Um, go to the Casa website and find the, it'll be like a history section that has the pro for AAA. And then if you want to link the worst headphones I've ever reviewed, it's the Casa pro for AA, two A's on Amazon, that exists. So thank you all for stopping by. Zeos has got to go put this someplace safe. I don't see you tomorrow.